We've all heard of judo, but here in Tokyo, there is another form of self-defense in which Japan leads the world. It's called karate, and it's so deadly that most of the Japanese are frightened of it. It's a method by which uh, a hand, a fist, can be more deadly than any kosh, and a Japanese can kill at one blow by striking seven vulnerable points of the body. Now they toughen their fists by hammering them against walls, against posts, until the whole fist becomes like a piece of corn or like a board. And with this fist, they can kill. They kill with the elbows, with the feet as well. Now these are instructors practicing in a, a gymnasium here in Tokyo. They're practicing on the makiwara, which is this board here, a padded board. It's padded because some of them are students and their fists aren't yet 100% corn and wood. What part of the world do you come from? Well, I'm from South Wales, actually, Swansea. Swansea? That's right. <laughs> now, why, why are you learning this deadly sport? Well, I came to Japan, actually, to practice judo. I'm a member of the British Judo Association in London and um, came over here, took up judo. I thought I'd take a little bit of karate. But compared with judo, karate is like murder compared with a, a ladies' tea party, isn't it? Well, judo is a sport. It was rather rough at one time, but it was cleaned up by Professor Kano. Karate, I think, is more of the spite, uh, fighting art. I'm told that the police here regard uh, karate experts as being in possession of a dangerous weapon and that it isn't a sport. Yes, the people um, who become black belts, who are proficient at uh, karate, must have um, a license. Now, when you've learned how to kill people with one blow, what are you going to do, Ronnie? I don't know. <laughs> I was going to tell the other people in England about it, but I'll have to think it over.